Welcome to Grey Overload, I'm Anthony and I purchased the Manfrotto Gimbal 220. So I picked up the Manfrotto uh, MVG220 which is the model number of the Manfrotto um, 220 here and I wanted to get a little bit better control, a little bit, you know, do some more shooting outside of just standing here at the desk. Hopefully I can help improve that quality. So this is the box that it actually comes in. It's already out of the box. It's still in the package. I did, um, they did want me to look at it, make sure it came with everything that I kind of wanted at the store. So I did that. The guy, the camera people here, local in Milwaukee that I use, they're great guys. And so they pretty much, I order everything, my camera stuff through them for the most part. Um, and, uh, this came in and so I went and picked it up over this weekend here over Father's Day so that was pretty cool but the box is pretty simple right there's nothing much on it everything repeats so and then if you guys are interested here's what, what it says for the gimbal 220 for Manfrotto there and so there finally focused but yep got a nice little carrying case there was supposed to be manuals in here so I put those someplace I don't know where and I'm gonna need those because this is my first gimbal and I don't know how to use it so I'll set that box down and we'll actually get to the fun part which is here is the Manfrotto case it's like a high density um, foam so it's right they had this ordered and shipped so it was probably packaged pretty good but it's a really nice case actually I, I like what they did there's a little bit of piece of plastic here that can come off because I just don't, I'm not going to need it anymore. There we go. Off in the garbage. So, nice little handle. And then to open it, are these just clips. And this is everything in it. So, oops, we'll take this out and we'll go through it. But the gimbal is here. There's a handle, and this is a little plate here as well. And again, I got to read the instructions to understand what all, where it all goes, and everything. But here's a little plate as well. I do have an Arca Swiss adapter plate so that I can attach it to my other Manfrotto um, setup here that my camera actually is attached to right now. Because as I go back and forth between this setup and this setup, I don't want to have to unscrew it every single time. So I just want to have one plate I can go to. You know, this, this plate I think attaches to the camera. And then that will just be attached to the camera all the time as, as I move from one place to another. It just will go through and I don't have to jump through hoops. That's my goal. Um, no idea what this is for. Oh, supporting the lens. That's what it's probably for uh, on the gimbal. So now the last thing in here before I get to the gimbal is this. So it looks, you know, it's nice rubberized. It can be a handle. Uh, looks like it screws in to the bottom of um, the gimbal. And then it actually separates out. yeah separates out so you can actually go like that it's got a nice wide base okay that's pretty cool all rubberized feet too well I don't know if you can see that that's actually pretty nice very cool I, I only, this is my first gimbal so I have nothing to compare it to <laughs> maybe somebody else can point me in the right direction what to compare to but let's get the gimbal out and walk through that real quick and then walk through this bag of goodies right that's what it is now it's just a thousand cables right that's probably what it is again I don't know much about gimbals so here we go it's got a nice texturized grip rubberized on both sides here so that's rubberized and this side's rubberized and you can see the textures in there I think a little bit um, smooth in the front and back has a little Manfrotto logo and then in the bottom that's where you can connect uh, your little tripod area there so let's walk around 
where the handle is so you got this uh, button here in front let that focus for a second button here in front as we go around we got this dial which I'm sure does something with control <laughs> um, then we get to here and hopefully you get this little screen you get a up down there and three buttons it looks record in the center what else uh, video camera camera and then two hours that look like a switch and then just a little dial that's nice and smooth jo little joystick yeah it operates like a joystick and then on this side you have well should look at it first power on off and then if I can hold it there and open this up there we go USB-C and then you got your model number right there. So that's a little walkthrough up on top. And then the gimbal camera kind of goes there. Again, it's kind of, I'm shooting here wildly because I have no idea what I'm doing uh, with this. But you have a little button there to kind of hold the plate in. You have a two USBs here, two USBs on this side for the camera. Another little adjustment here. Um, as well then you have adjustment on this side a lot of adjustments well wow. an adjustment here you have a lock so then this allows it to spin and then you have a lock here allows it to spin like that and then you have one more right here so There you go. So now they're all locked. And that's it for this little uh, gimbal here. Uh, let me know what questions you have as well about this. And I'll be sure to look at that. Hey, let me know if you have any tips on how to use this. That would actually be even a bigger help for me. Um, but here's the bag. And so, nothing left in there. It's a nice little cloth bag. You have spare parts looks like Allen key in there and uh, I don't know can you see it all yet there it is so there's a whole bunch of screws and stuff so then you have well that's nice so USB type C to TRS 2.5 so they kind of actually did label everything Oops. which I think is a huge benefit when especially for a person like me that's new to this has no idea what he's doing USB-C to DC 2.5 millimeters oh, of course it doesn't want to focus come on Well, you're going to have to take my word for it. <laughs> there we go. Then we have USB 2 to Type-C. Nice little cable here. And who knows, I don't know if these are going to wear out at all or what's going to happen. So only time will tell. USB 2.0 to Mini. So there, of course, there's probably going to be a lot of cables, right? A lot of different cameras that you can fit to this. Type C to multi. And let's see. Come on, just focus. Oops. Oh. Then we have. USB 3.0 to micro 3.0. There we go. And the last cable here is USB 2 to micro. So, I mean, they have basically every USB connection you need pretty close to it, right? Um, which is cool. I mean, especially when you buy something, you don't know what you're going to need. 
I don't know. And again, this is my first. There you can kind of see that. This is my first gimbal, so I have no idea what I'm doing. But if you guys have tips or hints, leave them in the comments below. If you guys have questions about you, what you want me to try, leave that in the comments below as well. And I will try as I use this here, hopefully in the next month, uh, and get you, well, I will be using it in the next month, but hopefully in the next month or two, I'll have a nice review up of it, of what my thoughts are on there, of this gimbal. But if you have something that you want to know about this, definitely leave it in the comments below, and I will get back to you. I don't have anything to compare it to, so <laughs> this will be a fun learning experience for me, especially once I actually find where I put the manuals. Um, I'll probably ask my kids. They probably can help me find it faster than I can just remember where I put it. So with that, I want to say um, God bless. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys for helping to grow this channel. I really appreciate it. You guys have been great at helping this channel grow. It's been just awesome fun to help and interact with the community here with all the comments. And I really appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching.